Maxim Golovatskik and a friend Moznov, drowned Kaina Bardushin, on 20 January 2009, in their apartment's bathroom, then dissed her body, cooked the meat and served it a stew with potatoes. But before we continue, we sincerely want to express our deepest condolences to Kaina's mother and loved ones. Kaina is a 16-year-old multi-talented artist, she went into theatre to study acting, and also loved to write poems and short stories. Her dream is to travel to the United States and become an actress someday. This young woman as an artist is also obsessed with heavy rock music. She went into a gig one day, and there she met Maxim a 19-year-old at the time and Kaina is 15. They became close friends even though Maxim had a girlfriend, he and Kaina are still having some kind of a relationship, as Kaina admitted to one of her friends that she is deeply in love with Maxim. Her mother Nadia even met Maxim one time and didn't agree to their relationship, she can see that he was playing with Kaina's emotion and was too old for her. One night Kaina went to her friend's house to finish their homework and later asked her mother Nadia to stay overnight. She gave Kaina permission to stay but she needs to be home by 7am. Later that evening Maxim and his friends are having a party at the apartment, they are drunk and intoxicated, he phoned Kaina to join them at the party. Kaina without hesitation agreed to come without informing her mother, her friend accompanied her into the train station and not knowing that it would be that last time that she will see Kaina. After Maxim ended the call, he shouted to his roommates and friends that the meat is coming, they thought that it was just a crazy joke and they didn't take it seriously. When Kaina arrives, she was excited to join Maxim and his friends, they were drinking and listening to music. After a while Maxim asked everybody that he wants to be alone with Kaina, he later asked her to join him in the shower. Kaina without a doubt did go with him. One of their roommates Katrina is in bed and sleepy, when she heard splashing in the bathroom, she went up to check if what is going on, but Yui, Max's friend stopped her and said that they are just having fun. Without any suspicion Katrina went back to bed and sleep. Maxim is over Kaina's legs when he sneezes three times, a sign that Yui needs to come inside, and helped him drown Kaina in the bathtub. They then dismembered her body and removed her organs, Maxim had work as a butcher, so cutting meat is not new to him. They then took some of her meat and stewed it with potatoes, they later eat them and served it to their roommates. Some of the organs are stored in the fridge. The other parts were put into a plastic bag and dump in the bin, including Kaina's head, and throw it the next day into the district in St. Petersburg. In the morning Kaina's mother woke up without her daughter in her room, she was worried and called her phone but Kaina didn't answer. Then she called her friend but told her that Kaina left the same evening and meet someone. They called the police right away and began their search as she is only 16 at that time. Nadia also went into Kaina's diary and found some poems about the guy Maxim, but the police didn't investigate this further. After weeks, there is still no sign of Kaina and they have no clue. They finally have a break, when Katrina, Maxim's roommate called police, and informed them that they were having a party, and that Kaina joined them, and Maxim invited her and in the morning she was gone. Maxim and Yui are arrested immediately and is interrogated, they later confess to the horrific crime they did, and told police that they ate her because they were hungry. Kaina's mother Nadia saw it in the news, after knowing how Kaina died, she just collapsed, and can't accept the fact that Kaina is gone and was killed that way. She raised Kaina alone and thought her everything, she was devastated, how can you bear such pain knowing that your daughter's death was so barbaric? Later on in the trial, Maxim and Yuri were sentenced to 19 and 18 years in prison. Nadia told them after the trial that they will burn in hell for what they did to her daughter. They will serve their time to the place called the colony where is it known to have strict rules and brutal regime with hard labor, and the beating with inmates is common. 
Later in 2017 Maxim wrote a letter saying that his life is finished into this body and that it is time to be reborn as a new person. He then hangs himself into his cell. Maxim's close family did not heard Maxim complaining about the beatings and that there's no sigh that he will end his own life inside the prison. Nadia, Kaina's mother achieves justice for Kaina's death, though her life will never be the same without her daughter.